Across the population, kidney disease is twice as prevalent in the Aboriginal community compared to the non-Aboriginal community. There are many Aboriginal people from remote locations having to move down to Adelaide and other major regional centres to receive dialysis care. So the health system is still trying to work out how best to meet these people's needs. I'm Janet Kelly. I work in the School of Nursing and our research aims to improve healthcare for Aboriginal people. Sometimes people don't have access to food regularly, particularly people in rural and remote areas, and sometimes they don't have access to good primary health care. So part of our research is helping people to understand what's happening within the health system, but also to hear people's experiences of health care to see where the gaps are and how we can improve health care. Our research involves spending time talking to Aboriginal people who are patients about what the priorities in care are for them. We also meet with specialists and groups like Kidney Health Australia and look at what are the current resources or are there different ways that we can approach giving care in order to meet the needs for Aboriginal people. This project and having the reference group, the Aboriginal patient experts, direct this work is really important. Aboriginal people in Australia and the Torres Strait Islander people have been the most researched people in the world. Research is a dirty word in Aboriginal communities, so we wanted to really flip that and change that. One of the key tools that we've developed is a set of patient journey mapping tools, and these help people to have a better understanding of what's happening for patients, and then to have some real ideas about workable strategies to improve care, both clinically and culturally. To be able to start this reference group up and to meet other people who are going through the same issues. It's done me good. Without the group, they wouldn't be getting heard and yeah, it's about time we get listened to. Yeah. In the future, we're hoping to continue to build structures so that there's more Indigenous governance in healthcare, so that Aboriginal people who are the recipients of care can actually have a greater influence on the way that care is provided.